And we want to look more closely at that now with a specialist on Iran. She's Geneve Abdo, a former journalist based in Iran and now an analyst with the Century Foundation in Washington. Thanks very much for being with us. Thank you for having me. How big a challenge does Hatemi's decision to run pose to President Ahmadinejad? It poses a very significant challenge because Ahmadinejad is not very popular in Iran now, uh, particularly young, among young people who comprise a large part of the electorate. And Hatemi's popularity has risen considerably uh, in, in the last uh, two years. So he will be a very, very serious challenger to Ahmadinejad. Well, let's just say that Hatemi does win. Why do we assume that this would alter Iran's relationship with the United States, given the dominance by conservative religious leaders in that country? Well, if he does win, he is going to have to walk a fine line between uh, taking Obama up on his offer, which is to talk to Iran, and also not appearing too conciliatory uh, in, in the view of the conservatives. So he, he will have to walk a fine line. Having said that, it is certainly preferable for the Obama administration to have Hatami as their negotiating partner, should there be negotiations, rather than a conservative such as Ahmadinejad. Well, you mentioned uh, talking. Vice President Biden said this weekend that the United States is willing to talk to Iran. So what comes next? How does it begin and what exactly gets said? Well, that's a very big question. And there have been all sorts of uh, proposals that would try to lay out some sort of roadmap as to what the next step is. Um, for example, there is an idea that rather than uh, putting on the table a specific issue, such as the nuclear issue, Iran's development of uranium enrichment, which is a very, very uh, difficult issue. The Iranians probably would not agree to make concessions on this issue. There has been a proposal that there be some sort of uh, larger, broader approach to just try to find issues upon which the United States and Iran agree and use that as a starting point. So there are a lot of proposals that have been suggested, but I think that President Obama has already made the first step, which is to change the tone of the relationship and to show Iran that the hostile rhetoric that had come from the Bush administration, that that's a thing of the past. So I think that he's already taken the first step toward some sort of uh, negotiations. Geneva Abdo, we appreciate very much your insights. Thank you. Thank you.